yeah hello all welcome back yeah so in the previous mm-hmm. session we have gone through what is the difference between centralized credit control area and decentralized credit control area means cent- mm-hmm. the difference between centralized process and decentralized process right mm-hmm. so now in this con- uh, sorry in this class we will go through the configuration of the simple credit check mm-hmm. okay so how many types of credit check we are having two types yes simple and automatic automatic right mm-hmm. so now in this class we will go through the configuration of the simple credit check mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. then after completion of the simple credit check configuration we will move to the automatic credit check configuration is it okay 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 so now let me go through the configuration see mm. in order to configure simple credit check mm. first of all we have to define the credit control area what is the step one credit control area yes to define credit control area okay so before defining what is the credit control area what is the credit control area it consists of group of the people who are responsible to perform the credit activities is called as the credit control area that's what we have covered in the previous session okay this is also called as credit department right mm. so now let us go to the configuration mm. but before that i just would like to tell you one thing who is responsible to create the credit control area fi consultant yes fi consultants are responsible mm. to create the credit control area mm. okay so now let me go through the path spro then here sap a reference img and here mm. enterprise structure then we have to go through definition and here mm. financial accounting then define credit control area this one mm. okay so now let me click on it see here we have to go through the new entries if you would like to define a new credit control area and if mm. you would like to use the existing one you can take any of these okay so now in our case i will create a new one here see i will name it as m100 okay in the same way here okay i will give the currency as inr mm. okay mm. see let me go through our m100 this one right mm. here let me name it as alchem mm. control area okay so here for which i have given the name as alchem credit control area so now let me save it so if we go inside this one here we can able to find credit control area means the one which we have defined and now and the currency and here data for updating yesterday right mm. so in which what is the first one update mm. so this is what is called as update group mm. what is that update group yes 
update group so this is important you may uh, or this uh, exper experience it in the interviews also mm. okay mm. see update group controls which sales documents should be updated into the credit management mm. what is the main functionality of this update group which controls which sales documents has to be get updated into the credit management mm. that is whether to update sales documents means uh, the sales orders mm. or the delivery documents mm. or billing documents mm. or the three of these okay mm. so this is what will be controlled by the update group mm. okay so here let me tell you the types of update group now mm. what is this types of okay See, actually, we have three types of update groups. Mm. These are also called as update rules. Mm. So, what are those three types? It's nothing but four zeros, one two. Mm. In the same way, four zeros, mm. one five. Okay. in the same way four zeros one eight okay so how many update groups we are having three update groups right first one is four zeros one two second one is four zeros one five and the third one is four zeros one eight okay are you clear okay Okay, so now let me tell you what exactly this first update group will do, and what is the purpose of the second update group, and the third one. See now, let me take the first one. What is that? Four zeros, one two. Right. So actually, it updates open sales order values. what it updates open, open sales order right? yes open sales are the values okay. in the same way open delivery values okay. in the same way open invoice values in the same way open item values into credit management what this update group will do it will update open sales orders open deliveries and open invoice values as well as open item values into credit management okay so what is the open okay. items here invoice got generated accounting document also got created but customer not yet paid mm. open sales order means the sales order got created but delivery was not done mm. open delivery means delivery got created but pga was pga was not done mm. in open invoice means invoice got created but accounting document not generated mm. okay Mm. So I think you are clear with the update group four zeros one two. Okay. Okay. So now <clears throat> let me move to the next one here. Mm. Four zeros one five. Okay. So mm. it will update all open delivery values. 
ओपन डिलीवरी वैल्यूज इन द सेम वे ओपन इनवाइस वैल्यूज इन द सेम वे ओपन आइटम वैल्यूज ओके सो व्हाट इट विल डू द अपडेट ग्रुप फोर जीरो वन फाइव इट अपडेट ऑल ओपन डिलीवरी वैल्यूज एंड ओपन इनवाइस वैल्यूज इन द इन द सेम वे ओपन आइटम वैल्यूज ओके सो हियर इट इज delivery without order reference open items here so here what is the difference between update group 4012 and 15 what is the difference this update group will take into the consideration of open sales orders okay and this one it will not take into the consideration of open sales orders and the rest okay. of the things are common for both the both of these okay 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 so now let me move to the next update group what is that 40 18 okay. right so okay <coughs> see it updates all open order values mm. then open invoice values mm. oh sorry i lost the screen triple g four zeros one eight right mm. open order values mm. and open invoice values okay in the same way open item values okay so which updates all of these into credit management okay <clears throat> so what is the difference between 4015 and 4018 Yes, the one okay, five will not take into the consideration of open sales orders, mm. and here one eight it will not take into the consideration of open deliveries. Mm. Okay, so that is the difference between these two. Okay. Okay. So I think you are mm. clear with the update groups. Yeah, clear. Okay then. See here the update group four zero one eight is there, right? Okay. So we use it in service item and third party. Okay. We use it for service, service items item. and third party. Okay. There is no delivery for which for which we will not create any delivery. Okay. Okay. So I think you are clear with the session. Okay. And if you have any queries in this regard, you can ask me now. Okay. 